Good morning. Uh, my name is Dave Will from the Seneca Park Zoo and I'm the lead naturalist for Citizen Science. And thank you for joining us for Invasive Species Week. Uh, we are highlighting yet another invasive species here in our public parks of Rochester. Um, you can see this invasive species pretty much everywhere. This is swallowwort. Um, some of you may have heard that word and immediately are like, oh my God, I have that in my yard. Um, swallowwort is easily identifiable by its very waxy wee leaves. They do, they are directly across from each other and then alternate as they go down the stem. Uh, the stems actually uh, got some ridges on it and you'll see a pretty interesting little pea pod looking seed pod that comes off of these guys later in summer. The issue with, pod, with swallowwort is that it will continually take over an area systematically take over the understory of a forest to the point where all the uh, area that had many diverse plants and different types of plants that would enrich different types of insects and animals in the area now have one single swallowwort plant as well it will climb up existing plants and actually lay its leaves over those plants and actually steal their light um, and actually trick some insects into laying their eggs on this plant as opposed to other plants like the monarch caterpillar so this is one that we'd like to see remediated and taken care of uh, because of its impact to our local endangered butterfly. So thank you very much for joining us for Invasive Species Week, and uh, we'll see you out there.